Hey guys, this video is about the most underrated and under-researched nutritional factors in the Okinawan diet. Okinawa is famous for being the highest longevity place on earth. But in terms of how well this is understood, um, the, the first thing I want to point out is around, around, I, th I think it's around 90% of calories during the time of highest longevity in Okinawa were from their main staple food, which is the purple yam. This is very interesting because it has a high content of unique anthocyanins that have not been researched, you know, but have been found to be essentially the strongest plant antioxidants. And there is also, in fact, a um, I don't know, there's there's several other interesting things about these. Um, you know, they, they do have progesterone analogs and stuff that might be of interest. Although I do think the main the, the main interesting thing that's known in these very under-researched plants is the anthocyanin content. It's certainly the most distinctive factor of the anthocyanin, uh, of the Okinawan diet, setting it apart from the modern Japanese diet. The second is that in Okinawa, they use fermented turmeric tea. You know, they're one of the only places to regularly ferment turmeric. Uh, this is quite interesting because there may be very many reasons for this being useful. Uh, but at the very least, it lyses the cell walls, which makes them more bioavailable. More interesting, though, is that it could, in fact, change the chemical, some some of the chemicals, you know, uh, create some kind of turmeric analog. I don't know if it does this, but it's very distinctive of the Okinawan diet. And in fact, it, um, you know, w when they did research on JDTIC, which was their attempt to kind of create a synthetic curcumin analog for uh, dementia, you know, it, it didn't work out as a pharmaceutical. It did have interesting supplemental level type effects, even though it was in primary treatment. What they ended up doing eventually is updating it by combining it with kind of a fermentation product, which is a uh, not of kinase, which is a very strong PGP inhibitor. Now, I don't, I don't know if they have a history of doing nano fermentation of turmeric at all in the Okinawa. I haven't been able to find details on that. But, you know, I wonder, I wonder what the lactate fermentation produces. You know, it would be actually exciting to study. Um, I do think lactate is underrated for improving bioavailability or pharmacokinetic, pharmacokinetics of some things because it um, attaches to the glucose transporter, which has very high transport priority. Obviously, you can't just attach a lactate onto random things necessarily and do this, but um, it, it gets transported across the blood brain bar barrier very efficiently, very easily. Uh, you know, there, there was one author suggesting that perhaps um, the Okinawans had not done lactate acid fermentation until recently, where they did it because it was factor industrializable, but they don't seem to be very trustworthy. They don't have the evidence for this is suggest fermentation is rare in the Okinawan diet, which isn't very true. But that, that's that's what makes me wonder if they perhaps also could have switched from some other fermentation like uh, nano fermentation to the more industrializable lactate fermentation. But anyway, I haven't been able to find details about this. Now, thirdly, and the most unpicked up on correlation, it's not distinctive of the Okinawan diet necessarily. It's very, very distinctive of Japanese people and the Japanese diet. There's there's massive amounts of ergothionine and the analog selenium uh, B12 
bean union. I don't know. I don't know how much more aerothionine there is in the Japanese diet than the typical one, but it's a it's a fermentation product and a mushroom product, so it's very overrepresented in the Japanese diet. But then there's selenamine, which is only found in tuna fish. Um, is which is significant significant because Japanese has fifty percent of the world's tuna consumption. This essentially means that um, the Japanese consume 40 times more selenium than the rest of the world. Then they consume um, extra in the, in the form of the analog aerothionine. Now this is for sure the most overrepresented nutrient in the Japanese diet compared to the rest of the world, but it is barely researched, especially the selenium, which pretty much nothing is known about. Although it's obviously a pretty, yeah, pretty amazing and stark overrepresentation. Um, you know, another thing that is interesting about the uh, Japanese diet I mean, Okinawans, I don't know if they consume more tuna fish necessarily, but they do, they do consume kind of a special fermented form of tuna fish called bonito as kind of a condiment on a lot of things. Um, but yeah, that, that's basically all I had to mention.